got a good half hour. Let's do this. Ready? I said, are you ready? Soon, so. Oh, uh, you were supposed to call me last night, remember? Was I? One, two, oh yeah. Sorry. Three, four. What are you doing? Right now? Nothing. Like most nights. Yeah, but I can't, I, I can't see you. I, look, I'm just, hold on a sec. <sighs> hold on for what? Six. All I have is a blank screen. No, wait, is that, is that your elbow? See? Yeah, maybe just one more. You're nearly there. Ronald, <laughs> Ronald, is there, is there someone else there with you? What? No, of course not. I'm, I'm just exercising, that's all. Oh, how can you even see me if you're lying on the floor? Actually, the screen is just fine from here. <sighs> yeah, but all I have are your feet. I thought you liked my feet. Sure, as feet go, they're swell, but it, is that, is that a bunion? I, I thought I told you last time to get some salve or some sandpaper, but I, would you please just, just stop? Okay, okay, okay. I only had three more leg lifts. I'm just trying to get in shape for you. You could just come back home for me. I can't. I mean, I want to. I really do. But I have to work, right? To make sure our kitchen together is as good as it can be. Nice condo, a new car. What good does any of that do if we're still in different places? You didn't like the chocolates I sent you. Yeah, I, I ate the whole box. Like I did with that other package of pralines from two weeks ago, but by the time you get back here, you won't recognize me anymore. I was trying to show how I love you. You could love me a different way. Well, for that, I need to be fit, right? Going up that old six pack. I'd rather we were working on a six pack together. You don't even drink. Well, lately, I have had a craving for wine cooler spritzers. Is this becoming a serious thing, Sylvia? Oh, Ronnie, I thought we were a serious thing. And that's why you're drinking, because you're worried about us. <sighs> but I really have fallen again for a guy who's that. No. Look, you promised me that when you went to work halfway across the country, we would still be able to talk. I mean, really talk as much as possible, but this... Uh, can't you just do your workout another time? My work schedule is really tight. Too busy for There's your girlfriend. So much that's expected You're of me. Almost fiance. Three new projects. The woman you love. And another one starting tomorrow. I see. What? You. More clearly than I ever have before. Is there someone else in your life? Yeah. I promise I was going to tell you, uh, but totally. By accident, I got introduced at the office to this cute little newbie. You, you did? W when? About six weeks ago. Really petite, easy to take places, looks so beautiful just sitting there on the edge of my bed. Your bed? Yeah, never gives me any trouble. Well, she's got some funny little kinks, but- Kinks? In the operating system, just have to break her in. The internet keeps crashing, so. My God. You've been cheating on me with your computer? It's very latest model PC, very sensitive touchscreen. Ronald! Still better than another woman, isn't it? I'm not so sure. It almost seems as if you're in love, but... Okay. Okay. Yeah, fine. I guess since, well, since we are... Confessing. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it that. It's time I, I just can't, not any longer. I keep it a secret, so. A secret? And I can only say that I'm really, really sorry because. Sorry? Why? Just, just tell me already. I'm, I'm a big boy. I can take it. Okay. Okay. We both really should have seen this coming, but. Is it, is it that new sixth grade teacher, the one you said was really tall? Mr. Ryan? Well, he, he is a very nice man and a really good teacher, too. And there's just so much to be learned. 
True, he's almost 50 years old and about 100 pounds overweight. Oh, come on. You're throwing me over for someone who's 20 years older than me? He does have tons of experience. You know how these things are. It all started over some stale coffee in the teacher's lounge. He gave me the last packet of low calorie sweetener and we've been having some very hot sessions discussing projected lesson planning for next semester and the best way to use the newest tabs in the learning lab program. No, not the newest tab. Yeah, and how to create true collaboration in the classroom. Please don't tell me anymore. I mean, this Mr. Ryan, does he ever even exercise? <laughs> Him? I doubt he's worked out a single day in his life. Oh, yeah, it's good then. <laughs> you should have seen him at the school picnic. He got all tangled up in the badminton net. It took me 20 minutes to cut him out with his safety scissors. So you really do care for him then? Well, it was time to start the next class, but he did look so helpless and adorable. Rather charming under pressure, unlike some people I know. I could do that. Be more laid back when things go wrong? No. No, I mean, I could be more like this Mr. Ryan. Like Stanley? His name is Stanley? You call him Stanley? So this is the secret you had to tell me? Uh, no, not exactly. It, it's just that I, well, brace yourself, but there's more. I, I joined a new knitting circle at the community center. <laughs> oh, a knitting club. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> no men then, I imagine. Well, several. But all rather nerdy. <laughs> a lot like you. But not at all afraid of their feminine side. Some women find that very attractive. But not you, I hope. Uh, whatever is it you're trying to say to me, Ronald? Nothing. Just that Kai could help you with your lesson planning. Read books by that guy, that education philosopher. Earl Stanley Gardner. I know you thought I wasn't listening, but I googled him. He's pretty cool, I guess. Just don't know how he went from writing Harry Mason detective stories to being a guru on multiple intelligence agencies. No, oh, I could see the connection. Yes, dear. I'm sure you can. Please say you won't leave me for it. For Howard Gardner? Well, his middle name is Earl, so maybe that's why. I think he's even older than Mr. Ryan. That doesn't mean he couldn't be hot. Who's Howard Gardner? Is he another teacher? <laughs> no. But, I, okay, I, I will think about what you said. You won't do anything rash then. Go from Pearl One, Knit Two. To what? Your place or mine? It could happen. I won't work out next time we talk. I promise. You'll see me here eating ice cream straight out of the carton, double chocolate chip. And I'll just, I'll just let myself go if that's what it takes. You give up all that progress in the perfect six pack just for me? You want me 100 pounds overweight in that six weeks? No problem. I've always been an overachiever. Oh, Ronald, you really do care for me, don't you? Hey, baby, you know I do. But you'll overeat all by yourself, right? How else? If you're not here and I'm not working out. Oh, yes, you are a true romantic to put me above a set of shiny new barbells. I need new barbells. Yeah, you think? I mean, uh, yeah, of course I am. Until well, next time, then, heart of my heart. But right now, I just really gotta... Sure, but what is that that you're doing? I'm uh, just picking up the notepad that I dropped on the floor. No, no, it looks like you're doing pull-ups off your desk. Uh, actually, I just dropped my stapler, too. You told me you hate staplers. I needed one for this new project. <sighs> You told me this company is paperless. Oh, Sylvia. Ronald, I think this really is. Hey, at the end? No, wait, I have just one more set. Goodbye, Ronald. Sylvia? Sylvia?